Hi, my name is Ken Birnbaum. I'm the technical lead on this project and I'd like to tell you about our efforts to create a high oil producing algae that is a kind of a high octane algae using flow cytometry. The basic idea here is that all the plants that we use for food, fiber and other purposes have gone through a process of domestication, improvement. Um, so here, for example, you see skimpy little teosinte, which was evolved and domesticated over thousands of years to make maize. So the basic premise of this project is to do the same for algae, that is take properties of algae that are needed for biofuel, like the accumulation of lipids, and specifically target them for improvement. And now we can do this very, very rapidly because algae are microbes that are going to replicate very fast. Our technical approach is that we recreate this domestication process in the lab using this amazing machine, the fluorescence activated cell sorter, to quickly pick out cells that have very, very specific properties. Here's a little glimpse of the cell sorter in action, and each panel is uh, reflecting some property of the cell as it's whizzing by at about 70 miles an hour. And a lot of our expertise has come through the last 10 years of being able to tell these different properties of the cell. All the way on the right here you see the fluorescent readout of the cell which is the critical output that tells us how much oil content each cell has. And so in this way we exert a pressure on the population and evolve it each generation for forcing us to only collect the cells that have higher oil content. There's a growing need for clean diesel in the $21 billion a year diesel industry. Some forward-looking states, in fact, have started mandating a 10% biofuel content for diesel fuel. There have been some major advances in biofuel refinement that have lowered costs. And so if any standards were to arise among a number of states for biofuel content, this could quickly go to a very large industry. With Power Bridge funding, we'd like to develop the protocol and publish it to establish expertise and potential service contracts. Secondly, we'd like to use it to improve a commercial strain of algae to increase oil content. This would be a patentable and licensable product.